How you do some things is how you do all things. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this conversation I was having with a young man, and he was telling me about the fact that he had uh, lost 100 pounds um, and actually... He actually had got COVID and ended up in the hospital and got extremely sick. And that's where some of the weight loss came. But then after he got out and he said he was in there for uh, weeks and while he was there it hit him, he said, I have to make sure this never happens again. I have to go and take care of my health. And so that particular day, he had walked like a couple of miles and was headed to work. I mean, headed home. And, uh, and I actually picked him up and dropped him off at home because he still had like another mile and a half or so. But anyway, but he had done a couple of miles. But the bottom line is, this is something that before this happened, before he got sick, before he felt there was a need, an urgency, a sense of urgency to lose weight, he had told me, he said, the reason I hadn't lost any weight is because I didn't believe I could. And so I would tell myself, well, I can't lose it anyway, so what does it really matter? So it allowed him to keep the weight that he had on and not lose any because he didn't believe he could. And so I told him, I said, isn't it amazing how a shift in our thought process will change the way we live our life? And this shift, unfortunately, came from a, a tragic incident for him in terms of his health with the COVID. But sometimes, unfortunately, in life, it takes that. It, and that's what I was sharing with him. Sometimes it takes that kick in the butt for us to go out and make things happen. That's why what the world calls negative, and I've talked about this before, negative and positive is all perspective. Because what some people would call negative, a lot of times is, move, is what actually moves us to go get the results that we really want. So was it really negative? It felt that way at the moment, but it was actually a shift that we needed in our life. And sometimes the only way we're going to get it or make that move is to get kicked in the butt. And for him, that's what it took. That shift made him, because he said he had to get healthy, he's lost 100 pounds. And he said now he's going for 40 more. And he says, but he believes he can do it. And before this, he didn't believe he could lose any weight. He said, even at home, there's certain places that he couldn't get before. Now he can squeeze into those same spots and it feels good. He said he can even bend down now and, and, and certain things. So the bottom line is what we're capable of doing as human beings is totally beyond what we believe we could actually do. That's why I'm not a believer when I hear people say a person played over their head or they're, they're exceeding their... Um, their capabilities, that's impossible. You can exceed what you and others believed was possible, but you can never exceed what is possible because it would have never happened if it's not possible. Does that make sense? So you can't make it happen if it's not possible, but our expectations is what limits us. So, but the bottom line I was sharing with this gentleman is, I'm a firm believer how you do some things is how you do all things, which is this topic here. And I said, because I'm willing to bet that you took that same philosophy in every other area in your life where you sold yourself short, where you believed you couldn't do things. And he was like, whoa, he said, that is true. He said, because Ever since I started to lose this weight at work and everything else, I have a different thought process now of what I can do and I'll go out and, and push myself to get things done. I said, yeah, because you saw what you're capable of. 
Now it starts to make a shift, as we're talking about, in your thinking, and now he's starting to believe in himself. That's the reason we're having this conversation on self, uh, Self-Love Monday, because that's what this is. That's the shift, where all of a sudden he's starting to believe he's powerful and he can, he can achieve things. Unfortunately, it took this incident for him to get that shift. But again, that's why we talk about the things that we talk about, because I'm saying we have to make the shift. We have to make the shift. You can't wait for other people to make that shift for you. And that's why, again, I talk about when I talk about loving yourself, this is not waiting for other people to make that shift and believe in you and to tell you you're beautiful and to tell you you're enough. We don't have time for that. If it comes, that's beautiful. We have to make that shift right now because before the world got a hold of us, we believed all things were possible. That's why when you talk to kids, they're going to be an astronaut. They're going to go, to, you know what I'm saying? They're going to uh, be a, uh, the president. They're going to be a great athlete. I mean, everything's possible until the world gets a hold of us and starts to tell us, quit dreaming, get your head out of the clouds. These things are not possible. And when you have that shift like he did, all of a sudden you start to believe it's possible. And now you start to shift in other areas of your life. And that's why I'm saying how you do some things is how you do all things. Because like I was telling him, you were selling yourself short in other areas of your life before this. And he said, oh my goodness, that is so real. He said, I just, I just, I had no faith, no belief in myself. And he says, every day I'm getting more confident, more belief. And that's the myth where some people think it's because the person started to lose weight. Because that's what you hear when people say they lost weight and they, they start to get confident. The confidence is not in the weight, which is, which is cool. That does add to it. But the confidence is coming from the, the, the things that you believe. Now you're starting to see what is possible and that you can achieve and that you can accomplish things that you set out for yourself. And that belief starts to get stronger and stronger and it starts to show in the way you walk around. And then it will filter into other things that you do, the other uh, obstacles that come in your life. That is what will cause you to make you leave that job that you shouldn't be at and you know for years you shouldn't have been there, but you stayed, it's because, again, the shift in your thinking. And, go, and so in this case, it happened to do with his weight that made that shift. And I'm not saying that has to be where it comes from. But it could be that shift, like I said, it's just doing, watching uh, or listening to conversations like this or reading books or getting mentors or anything that can help you start to love yourself some more, look in that mirror and do the exercises that we talk about, where we say, where you talk to yourself and talk about, I am proud of you for, and I forgive you for, and I commit to you that I'm, we're going to make these things happen. And you have that conversation with yourself every day. Hey folks, you do it all day, every day if you want to. But the key is to make that shift in how you feel about you. And then you will see how that carries into every other area of your life and including your relationships because then you'll stop settling for just anyone because again you you get back what you attract you attract you get out what you attract you attract what you put out so if you lack that confidence and you lack that belief in yourself how in the world do you attract someone who's very confident and in and in in driven and in, in moving into your life. You guys see, they're, they're opposites each other. So you're going to only pull in someone who thinks and acts the same way you do. And that's why when we talk on Relationship Thursday, I tell people, if you're messed up, you can only attract messed up people. So when you get yourself together, and hopefully this is one of those topics where you realize how you do some things is how you do all things. So if you recognize, that's why we talk about that self-conversation, listen to what you're saying to yourself. Is all the stuff coming through your thought process negative? And if so, let's rewrite those stories uh, so, they, so they'll drive us. Now, again, negative is perspective. 
But if it's a thought that you think is negative, but you learn how to turn that around and make it and use it to move you, then it's actually a positive. Does that make sense? Because for some people, that's actually how they're driven. They're the kind of people that when you tell them what they can't do, they go to work. Some people need to hug, know which person you are, and use life in that way. If you're a positive person, that that's how things make you move, turn, try to figure out how to make things positive. If negatives are how you move, then, then find some negatives to, to inspire you to take those steps that are necessary. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys got that and, it's, and it came across my message. Because again, how you do some things is how you do all things. And if you're like this, as far as like in this guy's case, where he lacked that belief in himself, when he goes out in the world, those are the relationships he's going to attract. And I'm only bringing that up because we do uh, the, the, the Relationship Thursday. And so for those of you, again, I hope you grab that. So let's get us together so that we can start attracting the person we say we really truly want. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now I'll talk to you guys on Thursday, on Relationship Thursday. And folks, just remember, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Recognize what you do in your life and also recognize how it's filtering into everything else that you're doing. And if it's not empowering you, it's time to make the shift so that everything that we do, you know, that, so how we do everything is the same. It's actually inspiring and moving us to our dreams and desires. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.